When it comes to my Nissan 300ZX Twin Turbo, I'm all about trying to maintain originality where it counts. But there's one area that definitely could use an aftermarket enhancement. And that particular enhancement came in this large box from Mishimoto. And it is over here. I pulled it out of the box and it is a huge aluminum radiator. And these cars are known to run just really warm, at least in the engine bay, it gets super hot. And the radiator is actually quite small, not to mention it also has plastic intakes. So this thing is a lot thicker, much more substantial, and should be able to handle higher temps, and while also keeping the cooling system running much cooler. It's no secret that the engine bays on these cars are super cramped, packed tight, and that just makes it even harder for heat to escape. So when you look at this stock radiator, you can see how thin it is. It's only about an inch thick. The other one over there is almost three inches thick, so it's considerably uh, larger, but it is specced to fit within this engine bay without any sort of modifications, which is always a win in my book. And as far as upgrades go for these 300ZXs, this is actually fairly inexpensive to do. The radiator itself is about $270, and then you need to get some special mounting brackets so that it can actually hold a thick radiator in place, and these are only about $25 or $30. So really, overall, 300 bucks all in is pretty cheap when it comes to these cars. I did look around at some other radiator options, but really Mishimoto came out to be the best reviewed one, and the quality of construction seems really good, especially now that I'm looking at it here in person. I mean, they really thought out everything. They have the mounting points for the lower radiator mounting, and then they have the, uh, the drain plug right here. It's nicely welded throughout. I don't think there's going to be any problems with this thing. It does come with its own, uh, does come with its own radiator cap, which is a higher PSI one. Apparently, that helps keep the temperatures down. And at the top, you can see there's even a bleed plug up here, which should make filling this up pretty easy. And uh, yeah, I'm just overall really impressed with the build quality of it. Pretty happy with this for about 268 bucks. Can't really go too wrong there. And there was one interesting thing that kind of set this apart from the rest of the radiators, and I'm sure it's just a marketing gimmick, but it's pretty cool nonetheless, is that it has its own serial number at the top. So overall, this is a pretty easy operation to perform as far as these cars go. It's, uh, don't have to remove too much. You do have to get the car up in the air and remove the underbelly. So we are going to start there, and try and get this radiator put into place. Now we can see a direct side-by-side -side of the original style radiator versus this aftermarket one. And you can see that the core is significantly wider. So much wider that I hope the new one actually fits in the space provided in the engine bay. But you can see that one is very much about an inch thick. And then this one, at the very least, is two inches thick. And then, of course, we have the aluminum end tanks. And then this one's got the plastic ones that are kind of sealed against the aluminum core. So this is just a weaker design overall. So this should never have any problems, assuming we can actually fit it in the engine bay. Um, but something to note about this new radiator is that it does not have provisions for the automatic transmission cooler. So you can see how in the original one, these automatic transmission cooler lines are there. This one doesn't have it. Um, so if you have an automatic, remember, you can't use this specific one anyway. 
but it does have all the mounting points for the radiator fan. So I hope that we can put that fan shroud on there and still have clearance to fit the radiator in there. We still have yet to see, but I'm sure other people have said that they can fit, so I'm hopeful that it will work. So let's get this thing into the car. <laughs> in place and looking really quite good. I have to say, I wasn't planning this to be a cosmetic enhancement, but once you pop the hood, that radiator really stands out and looks like an absolute gem. I was very skeptical this would actually fit, but it did, although I did have to get a bit creative to get this thing in there. I had to loosen up these intercooler hard pipes over here and take out the radiator fan, or the cooling fan, just because there was no way to get that in there without damaging the fins. But no grinding was needed, no modifying of the radiator. It did fit, you just gotta kinda finagle it into place. Now you'll see how the, the fan shroud mounts up really nice and the mounting holes fit perfectly. The radiator brackets 
are fit well. I'm a little bit disappointed with the hood prop holders here. It doesn't line up at all. So this one doesn't catch the hood prop at all. This one does, so really you only get one hood prop holder, but it should be fine. It's not like it's loose or anything. Just rest here and the hood closes just fine. Only took Saturday afternoon, so not too much time for quite a drastic result. I ran the car up to temperature, no leaks. It holds really well and I'm pretty happy about that. So overall, I give this Mishimoto Radiator a high ranking for 300ZX Twin Turbo. It doesn't hurt that it looks really nice when you pop open the hood. So that's all for this video. As always, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys again next time.